Good morning, guys. So we're over here at Owens Orchid in Weedsport, New York. We're gonna go and do some apple picking. And um, I just wanted you to see around the place. I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers, to our subscribers for helping us to reach and hit that thousand subscriber mark. God bless you and enjoy the video. Bunch of pumpkins. And they got, it's a farm, farmer's market. So you can see all the, all the produce. Sweet Carolina, roasted squash, baked potatoes, butter can, honey nut. So cute. You can see the old tractor. The little machines. This look like a mill. Yep. I like all these old little machines. See these little machines? Back in the day we had to do all they had to do all this, right? Drain some of the fruit. Cute little bear. It's a carving. You can see the old cart they used to use. And look at this tractor. Imagine. This is what a tractor used to look like back in the day. It's beautiful. And this is, I'm assuming, what they put the milk in. They used to milk the cows in. Look at this wood carving. It's cute, right? The beer coming out of the tree. Look Where at is? this carving. Here is the farmer. Say that again. I'm the second generation with Owen Orchards. My grandfather started it back in the 19, around 1930. Okay. And I kind of grew up with it. And then uh, right now I have a son and a grandson and uh, who are involved with it. Right. Uh, equal partners in it. That's uh, good. We grow about 35 different kinds of apples here for commercial use, uh, meaning we have enough to sell. We have probably another 30 varieties, but we only have one or two trees out in the orchard. Right. I didn't even know they had so many different types of apples. Yes. <laughs> we have new ones coming all the time. Wow. Uh, getting to be too many different kinds because, as you see, we probably have about 15 or so on display here. Yeah. It confuses the customers what to buy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I'm going to just walk around and show them the different types. And then when you're ready, I'll take you out with my truck and show cool. you. Cool, thank you. So these are utility apples. Honey crisp, snapdragon. I didn't realize there were so many different types of apples. Then you have ruby frost. Pink luster. And then these are Fuji apples. And 
acquire apples. Turn your nose. I heard I thought it was busy. Uh, yeah, Gordon said it wasn't as busy as Crispin. Yeah. Crispin. Yeah. 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 Ye
They might not want you to record them, but. Oh, they won't mind. They like won't mind? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the name of this type of apple? This one here is Evercrisp. Evercrisp, okay. Can you capture that? He told me you guys don't mind, that you guys would love me recording you. I hope you don't mind. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Yep. He's speaking for you. <laughs> yeah, he's speaking for us. Said his grandson is down here as well. Yeah. That would be you, right? Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Oh, okay. pretty good. I'm just YouTubers, so we just looking around the orchid and, you know, promoting it. Oh, okay. And these are, what kind of apples are these? Evercrisp. Evercrisp, yeah. This is my grandson here, Stephen. Stephen, yeah. How are you doing? Good, you. Nice to meet you. Good. Nice meeting you guys. You too. This is my grandson, Hi. Stephen. This is Mr. Garden's grandson. So it's a tedious process. You got to pick them. All by hand. Physically. Wow. They don't make any. They're working on machines, but they haven't got one yet. Mm. Wow. Nice okay. now. It's run out. The sun is out. Get warmer. Um, you know, so it looks like maybe nine bins for the wow. road, two rows. Like the most beautiful experience. How long does it take to like do the whole? The most beautiful um, experience. Oh, the whole orchard? Yeah. We're in our eleventh oh. week right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eleventh week and of harvest. Look so good on the yeah. And how long does it take I to actually so like um grow from? Oh, it buds. We had some uh, some trees this year that we planted last year. Okay. But normally we figure three years. Three years and then a crop on them. Nice. So you you don't do like the whole orchid one time. You do oh, no, in sections. So you right. have every year you have a harvest. Yeah. Well. No, we pick the whole orchard every year. Mm. But we start in August. There's, I said we had 30 some different varieties, but they right. were all ripe at the same time. Right. This is one of the last ones that ripen. This one, and then we've got the Granny Smith mm. that are ripening. Thank you. Yeah. The birds would love out here, right? Yeah. They got a lot of food. There's quite a few here around. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, fall. a fairly new apple. It actually came from. Uh, Place you wouldn't expect. Uh, it's not known for growing a lot of apples, and that's the Ohio area. It's called the Midwest Apple Association, mm -hmm. and uh, they're the ones that developed this Evercrisp. And, right. Uh, we really like it because uh, the name Evercrisp is just what it is. You can take this, we'll put it in just uh, common storage, keep it 38 degrees, and we'll have them in April, and they'll be just as good as when we picked them. Wow. And. Uh, they actually, the longer they set, the more flavor they get. Because the uh, starch is in it, while well, the setting converted to sugar and make them sweeter. Mm -hmm. So, how do they develop a specific type of apple? Basically, uh, they're taking under a controlled situation, they're taking the apple blossom of one variety and introducing the pollen of another variety that they want to cross it with. Oh, okay. And then that when that apple grows, they'll take the seed out of it, grow the seed, and they actually each one of those seeds will grow a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. But so it takes about 15 years to develop a new variety. They'll uh, take those seeds, like I say, plant them, grow them, fruit them, pick out one that looks promising, and then try and duplicate it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, 15 years is a long time just oh, yeah. to do one to develop one variety huh? well it's actually uh it's speeded up it used to be more than that but now because of genetics and so on mm -hmm. they can predict what an apple is going to be right and it speeds up the process they right. can do it a little quicker sometimes but the problem is there's so many new varieties coming out right now it just confuses everyone right right when my grandfather had the orchard when he started it he grew macintosh and Corbin's, and that was pretty much it. There was mm -hmm. a, some Northern Spies, a couple other varieties. Might have had six varieties altogether. Right. You know, 
and now we got 30 some varieties that we're trying mm -hmm. to. And how many years ago did your grandfather do it, you said? He started in the 30s, early, mm -hmm. early 30s. Mm -hmm. yep. But uh, yeah, just a number, of, like right now, this is a fairly new variety. These trees are about five years old. Mm -hmm. But we've been planting this year, uh, well, we harvested crap that we planted last year in Sweet Maya. Uh, we got one we just harvested, we're putting on sale today, called Ludicrous. Mm -hmm. That's a new one to us. Uh, then we got Cordera, we got Firecracker, we got Pink Luster, all new varieties. And well, too many. I didn't know they had so many varieties of apples. Well, it just, it, yeah. uh, it confuses people. Yeah, to, yeah, you know. yeah. Yeah, it would. People come in and pick. Like right now, we do a, a lot of you pick. You know, people come in and pick their own apples. Right, right, right. And we, over the weekend, I think we had 11 or 12 varieties they could pick from. Mm -hmm. I just narrowed it down to about six this morning. Right. So you give them one of these and they walk around and pick? No, we don't. They just give them a bag. A bag, okay. A bag with a handle on it and they walk around. Right. No, we don't give them a basket. because that's only for our people. They wouldn't even know how to use one of those. <laughs> yeah. You watch when they go to dump them. Because you can't just pour the apple in. Right. You're going to bruise it. Mm. So, uh, Stephen will have a basket here in a minute to show you how they dump them. Mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta, you got to pick them carefully. You can't drop them in your picking bucket. If you get a mm -hmm. bruise on them, they're, they're not going to look good in a couple weeks. All right. So like these two rows going down here, how long do you think this would take to pick average? Well, there's three rows all together right here. With this specific and, uh, type? Yeah, I'm hoping, but they'll be done by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. At least tomorrow night. All right. Yeah. See, if he just unhooks the ropes on the bottom of that. Oh. Picks up slowly. The apples just roll out. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. It's like a little funnel. So. That's nice. I like this little... Steve, show them how you dump that. Gently. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to bruise them. Yeah, yeah. They look delicious. Yeah, I did, I did. And gently lets it out so you don't bruise them. Nice. hardly believe this is New York, right? Yeah. It's so That's what people think of New York. Yeah, when they think of New York, they think about the city. They don't realize that they have all this land over here in New York. Early in the season, I had four or five guys come in uh, on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got talking to them. And they were from Las Vegas. All right. And they were working on a house in Skinny Atlas. Mm -hmm. you know, and one of them said, they told us we were going to New York to work. And we got here, and we couldn't believe what we saw, because that's not what we pictured in New York. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I like to show our viewers, the different New York. So what kind of trees are these? Those are peach trees. So what time of year do they? Uh, August. August, okay. Yep. So you have something blooming almost every season, right? Yeah, well, I say if it ripens before the 1st of August, I don't want to grow it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
we, it's a long enough season for us. So we we start the first of August. We grow quite a few uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. squash and uh, tomatoes, peppers. Mm -hmm. Most of the pumpkins here, but there's still a few left in the field. All right. So they grow flat on the ground like that, on the vines, and the vines run along the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never seen how pumpkins grow. No? <laughs> They're the ones that broke it up like that. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. They palm and break them open. These apples over here too. What kind of apples? Oh, uh, that's the same one we saw earlier. Except the next row over, we picked part of the I'll show them we up a further. Or Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. You familiar with Granny Smith? Now? Granny Smith. Yeah. <laughs> the only apples I know are red apples. Well, I don't know the names. Granny Smith, not a red apple. <laughs> Granny Smith is the green one. It's a green one. Yeah, see, I'm one of those. Yeah, we'll see some more. Here, I only knew that they had red and green, and I see some that look kind of yellow. Yep, yeah, we have yellow. We have some that are purple. Purple. Yeah. You have any of those that we can see no. inside the barn or anything? Mm, no. Okay, they're gone. That's the, the ones on that road there, right? Yeah, this is the one that they do for, um, what do you call it? All the cooking shows and everything, that's all they use, Granny Smith. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, and you juice it for your body, uh, with carrots and beets oh, yeah. and, uh, and ginger and celery. You can see who's the cook. It good, <laughs> it good to um, clean your um, kidney, kidney and your, um, your immune system. And which ones do you use for apple cider or you can use any? We, the best apple cider is a blend of four or five different kinds of apples. And what 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 are those? What blend? It doesn't like, matter. It's just any? you want something that's going to be sweet and something uh -huh. that's going to be a little on the tart side. Mm -hmm. And as the season progresses, we have different varieties coming in, so mm -hmm. the the mix is always different. Great. So we would like you to do a blend like that so we could show our customers and our friends and our family what it is to have freshly maybe when you when when you guys doing a press uh -huh. to make apple cider one day you give us Saturday. a call yeah we do it every saturday and sunday oh. in the morning in the morning okay. definitely on saturday okay saturday i'm usually because okay. i'm a pastor uh -huh. so i'm usually in church on saturday in um, Ida Elmira or Utica. Mm -hmm. sundays uh Probably and Thursday, it's Thursday morning. Thursday morning? Okay. Like this Thursday? More than likely. About what time? Probably start by 8 o'clock, 8 30. Okay. So I could drop off my son early and get over here by 8 30. Well, they'll be pressing till probably noon. Okay. Yeah. Even that's when they actually start the pressing process. Yeah. Around noon? Noon. We'll be here. Depends on how much we have to press. We uh, we normally press on Thursdays for the regional market in Syracuse. Yeah. And with the whole process, if you start at eight thirty, then the whole process, I guess, before you actually press it, takes time, right? Yeah. You have to. It takes about an hour to set up the press. And mm -hmm. You have to sanitize everything. Mm -hmm. Going. Uh, it's not a squirrel having fun down there. It must be getting some nuts. Oh, there he 
is, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, we do what we call racks. You build up layers of the, mm -hmm. the ground up apple. Mm -hmm. Press it and we'll probably, probably do five or six racks. It takes mm -hmm. about an hour to do each one. And what time you start doing that part, average? If you start at 8.30, like what time you would get to that point? Probably by 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, It'd be nice for us to get here by that time. Yeah, just, we got to come out early. Yeah, yeah record the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Here are the beehives. These are the hives, right? No, the hives are over here. So what do you use these for? I just put my signs out for the people that come in here and pick. Uh -huh. It's also what varieties, you know. Yeah. You've got a sign board here with all the different varieties. Right. That's what they're able to pick mm -hmm. today. What we do is, you've got the colored streamers there. Uh -huh. We take it every row. And put it on the. We put on like the green one there, which uh -huh. Portland's, and you can see down through this row the green streamers on it. Yeah. So the they know what they're picking. Cowan, and I take them off, yeah. yeah. So you make it easy. I try to. Oh, I see the hives. Yep. So you gotta put on the soup when they're dealing with that, right? Yeah, yeah. Or to smoke them. They might be out a little bit today because it's warm out, but normally they're hybrid. So they grow their own honey, and um, these are the hives. They have a beekeeper. I'm gonna get as close as this. They're flying around my head right now. I'm not going to get more close than this. And these are the hives where they actually do the honey. And there's a comb on top of here. Piece of a cone. It's pretty cool. I would not believe this was upstate New York. Beautiful. Our guide is the owner. Very nice gentleman. I think they know we're here. Yeah. They look like they're coming out. It's kind of warm, that's why they're coming out, you said. And you can see all the apples. The birds have a feast because you can see the apples all on the ground. They have a form of ball in the middle and they'll keep the hive warm. They keep it about 90 degrees in there. And then surrounding it is the honey that they stored and that's their food for the winter. All right. So they eat the honey? Yep. They make it and then eat it? That's what they're making it for. To eat it in the winter? In the winter, that's the winter. And how do they keep it like 90 degrees? The bees themselves just keep the it heat, like that? Just the heat from the body. From them? Wow. That's why they form into, they get a tight knit ball. Wow. And they'll take and they'll kind of rotate the bees that are in the middle, middle of that ball, work to the outside, and the ones on the outside in. Mm -hmm. They keep it warm. So how do they make the honey? How do the bees make the honey? Well, they gather uh, nectar from the flowers and they have uh, a mechanism built into them that the uh, Produce that? Produces the honey. Mm. I mean the, the trees. You're welcome to walk back out there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna pick some. You got bags, right? You said? Okay. Well, thank you for your tour. It was a pleasure. And I'm gonna tell all my viewers about you because this 
this is a beautiful place and you're a very nice man. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. these old tractors still working. They got a place for you to take pictures. You can sit down on the little bench. This is one of the older tractors. They look like they do tours too. They take the people in with yeah. these. Yeah, I'm glad I came on it, but yeah. Seeing the old tractors, this tractor takes the people in when they do the tours. To go and pick the apples. Really cool. Look at this tractor. Look at this tractor. Look at the wheels. Iron wheels. This has to be one, this got to be like one of the first tractors that they ever made. Iron engine. Look at the engine. Steering. The seat. Look at the seat. The seat is metal. The controls. Look at the controls. There's one right there. There's one right there. And the gears, look at the gear shifts. Oh my goodness. This is the new, this is one of the newer tractors. You see the difference between the one that I just showed you and this one, look at the seats, look at the mechanism for the steering, the gears. See the modern one, the engine. You see how the new ones look compared to the old one? It's a big difference. And look at the gear, look at the mechanism on this one. See? And look at the pedals and the engine. Look at the gear shift, steering, see everything. See how technology has developed. Press the apples. Now we're gonna come back on Thursday and um, see them pressing to make the apple cider. This is the side of this is the size size of lawnmower that you need for a apple orchard this big and it named bush hog see it named bush hog so this is so cool look That's the size of it. Whoa. I'm gonna give you. Really nice. 
cool equipment. Yeah, I'm got to get a weed walker or cutlass no more. Technology, man, technology. Look at the size of these apples. Look at the size of this apple. Wow. See the size of this apple? Yeah. Look at this one. Apples fall on the ground, right guys? Look. How much apples? But I want you to see the size of this apple. Look at this apple. Oh my God. Have you ever seen an apple so big? Look at this apple to the size of my hand. That's abundant. Let me hold it and do it. You see that? Oh my goodness. Never in my life have I seen an apple this big. But the worms or the um the parasites got it already because it fell on the ground. Look at this one. I'm gonna pick this one, right? We go through between here. I want you to see this one. Look at this one. See how ripe and nice this is. We get the bag. It sounds like it's cheap, this dollar something a, a pound, but these apples heavy. So by the time we get out there, we can got like 10 or 20 pounds. Look at this guys. These apples are not ripe yet. They're not ripe as yet. Right? These apples are not ripe as yet, but look at the cluster. Look how beautiful this look. The colors are changing on the tree and the apples. Look at this one. The other side is not ripe yet, but it's getting there. It's a good little exercise.
Look at this. So I'm going to go and get one of these ripe ones. See how this one look on the other side. See that one here right there? I don't want one that's red, ruby red. Literally one just fall off there. Literally just one just drop off by itself. Look guys, see the colors of the trees? Look at the colors of the trees. Now look at these, these are bright red, red apples. these guys. Look how big this apple is. Look. Look at this one. See down between there look. See the apples. Look at this one. Guys. You just picked that? Yeah. So why you didn't record yourself picking? No. I, I pick it up. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, this is fresh, freshness here. The jewel. Fresh? You just pick it up, it must be just dropped. Yes, you could see the stem is still green. But I'm not going to see it. So you got, you could see the people read this, this say, <laughs> this one here, because this got some really big, the green ones, yellow green. ones. I want two green ones because I'm going to do it with you. The um, wrap. I'm going to take two of this so I could do it look with some um, over here, look. beet juice. There's a big one right here. Yeah. Pick two, pick two to do the beet. Alright guys, this one. See this one? It's a little green but part of it is right. See? There's a nice That's big one. That's the one that you want to do the the juice. Look, it has an next one here. Pick this no, one. Green. No, it's like this you have to get. I'm gonna pick it from the stem. You're not supposed to pick it from the stem. Just pick the apple. Oh goodness. It dropped. Oh my goodness, it dropped. This too I'm gonna do with um beet juice. It's getting heavy. Okay. All right. Well, I got some ripe ones there. Though. No, I don't want the ripe ones, so grab me some. I want big ripe ones. Okay, because I'm 
then he received them for me and marked them. See the ladder here? So I see one that I'm going to get. So I'm going to go and get this ladder here. I'm going to pick this up. Guys, look at this tree. Watch this tree. Laden with apples. You hear the birds? They sound like ducks. The ones that they migrate already. Look at this one. I didn't come for only green, the yellow ones, but these ones look so good. And I'm full already with just the two that I ate. So I can't even say, well, let me eat another one. Look at this. Apple for so. Let me see if I can reach one of these here. Whoa! Uh huh. You see, I pulled one and three come down. This one, this one, and this one. All three of these come down. So, I'm gonna see one go home with me. See the bag already? Okay, 130 a pound. Uh, 120, it's on easy, right? And not much, but watch. This is quite a few pounds here already. And what? Bringing you up from the ground. Show you what's going on here. You could pick apples till you get sick, eat apples. And you still can't pick out all these apples.